everyone welcome back and a lot of my clients and, and just friends in general ask for example what do I eat for breakfast uh, to boost the fat burning to kind of stay in shape to stay sharp the rule of thumb is just to kind of keep on fueling up with let's say fat and protein source rather than carbohydrates so instead of taking oatmeal rather just get some eggs and bacon and perhaps some greens on the side it's a pretty damn good idea so my breakfast is usually that, either I just fast up to lunch or I uh, take in some sort of, you know, eggs, bacon, something fatty, really good fat source, plus uh, good protein. And But today I want to show you how to make fisherman's eggs. And fisherman's eggs is really easy to make, but I like to make it on the weekends and I have an extra minute. And it's basically two ingredients or three ingredients if you want some spice or salt or whatever. It's basically sardines topped with egg, which you have to cook in the oven. So I have two cans of sardines. They're quite small. I don't know how many grams I use as long as it's extra virgin olive oil, which is, you know, less pr processed, less produced. Let's say in sunflower oil or Rapeseed oil is all going to be hydrogenized, really inflammatory. Uh, the idea here is just to fill in this tray, um, which is kind of like a one to two people tray. I usually cook it just for myself because my wife doesn't really like it. She just prefers eggs straight off. So I'm going to cover the base with sardines and then I'm going to top that with a couple of whole eggs, which I have right here. And all we need is just, you know, whatever eggs you want and these are just free range British eggs. So as we cover the base with our sardines, you can either leave it like this and just top it with an egg or you can mince it. I like to mince mine because then it kind of spreads out it evenly and just slightly. It's really just to cover the base quite nice. As you can see, there is no residue oil because again, heating the oils is not ideal. So here, I made the base. Now we are, we should just top it up with an egg. If you like it sunny side up, just, you know, crack it open and just cover it slightly so that it cooks. I like mine to be kind of medium so not too runny that's why I poked the yolks so they spread out a little bit and cook faster but all you now need to do is to take this into a preheated oven shove it there for five to ten minutes and it should be done it's pretty good from the looks of it I think it's a bit overdone but Still good nevertheless. So now cool down at least for a few minutes just to avoid any salmonella or you know reduce the chances of getting it uh, which is unlikely but you never know. So like four or five minutes uh, of cooling down is what we need and then we will dig in. It cooled down, I think it's ready to, to be tasted. Um, and funnily enough, I wouldn't even use a separate plate or a bowl to eat it. I would just eat it out of a pan it cooked in. As you can see, it's full of fat. Um, it looks pretty tasty as well. It's juicy. Um, so yeah, let me give it a try. Mmm, delicious. It's nothing just like a simple egg or nothing like a sardines would taste. The mixture is just heavenly. And I, I love fisherman's eggs. I mean, this is just, you know, seasoning with pepper and salt just makes it just heavenly combination. And especially for those who want to manage their weight or, you know, maintain their high performing bodies and keep on burning fat as an energy source rather than dependent on sugar. So yeah, if you enjoy this video, uh, Give a like, subscribe, uh, share with your friends. Thanks so much, guys, and I hope it's helpful.